You know what, Deeds? I've had time to think about what you said. I just spent the last little bit meditating to recenter myself, to refocus. And you're right in what you say. Much of what you talk about, if not all of it, is true. We did form a bond. We became very close friends, if not the best of friends. I respect you, I respect what you've done in this business, I respect what you do for people. When I first started in this business, when I was a shy little greenhorn, you were the first person, one of the first people, that were genuine to me. You were a kind, genuine expression of love, and you taught me many a thing. And over the years, I have become an old greedy bastard. Sure, a part of me has released that now, but my deep hunger, an insatiable hunger for validation, for glory, for championships, for winning, for being on top, for being the man I always knew I would be, that has taken me over at times. But it only takes a moment for everything to change. And in this moment, I realize that there is still a friendship. And so I have a deal for you, Deeds. If you want to apologize to me March 24th, in the middle of that ring, in front of the fans, in front of the boys, in front of my boys, in front of the backstage, in front of everyone, then all shall be forgiven. But if you deceive me, Deeds, I will let you know right now, there is a dragon within me that I will unleash upon you. And I will show you fire you have never seen before. But with that said, there is also an angelic inside me. One that wants to nurture and show love. Love and respect to those who have been good to me. So the choice is yours, Deeds. Apologize to me in front of the world. Or face my wrath. <laughs>